down the Ben Laribi of Algeria on a split 4-1 in his semi-final. Now, in the moment, fighting on the is the doctor representing who's ready to start Another fighter from Uzbekistan here, Mujibilo Tursunov. He beat Serik Absal of Kazakhstan by unanimous decision in his semi. I saw him in the World Championships in Belgrade. He was in my ring and in his quarterfinal lost 3-2 to Andy Cruz. Gave him a good fight. Cruz, who won gold, won the Val Barker Trophy, had won the Olympics a few weeks beforehand. Probably the best amateur fighter in the world currently, Andy Cruz, and Sasunov gave him a proper tussle. It was Elner Abdurayimov who went to the Asian Championships in the Olympics for Uzbekistan at 63 kilos. The World Championships coming after those two, of course. So this is our third final of the day. Can Uzbekistan make it a hat-trick? They're in the blue. Ukraine, represented by Kartsis in the red. Two orthodox fighters here. You can see the physical difference between the two of them pretty easily. Kartsis has got the, the height on Tursunov, who's just dropping those knees, dropping his height, looking to try and get up nice and close. Does so there. And found the left to the body. Keeping those gloves high and, as I say, making himself as small a target as he can coming forward. Kartsis is firing off that jab, which is what you like to see a taller fighter do. Steps into closer range there and looks for the body. Just finding the gloves there, Kartsis. Overhand right from the outside there from Tursunov. Didn't land as he got closer. He looked for an uppercut, which I think might just about have got through. Both of these two throwing plenty. Not all that much clean is getting through so far. A minute gone. He stands up quite tall, Kartsis. As I said, he is the taller of the two. As Tursunov comes forward in the way that he does. Standing out there, though. Tosunov was, was caught nicely by Kartsis and the referee steps in for the standing count. That won't necessarily result in a 10-8 round. Aiba scoring, just to remind everybody, I'm sure almost everybody watching will be well aware of this. It's about interpreting dominance, so 10-9 is a round win, 10-8 is a clear round win, 10-7 is complete dominance, but knockdowns, standing counts... They, in and of themselves, don't trigger any kind of score. It's about the judges watching the, the round as a whole and giving the score based on their impression of what occurred. Look at that one-two there to Sunov. Goes down with a left to the body in this heating up towards the end of the round here. Left to the body from Kartsis. And what I was saying just before that standing count is that Kartsis does stand quite tall to Sunov dips those knees and comes in very, very low. Maybe the uppercut is is something Kartsis could catch to zoom up with as he comes in. Looking for that jab again there. Kartsis, been a good opening round this. Be interesting to see if we get a look which way it's scored. To zoom up has got the ante since the standing count, certainly. And he could still win this round, as I've just been explaining. The fact that found himself on the end of the standing count does not mean that he can't win the round. Nice one two there from Tursunov, right hand over the top, left to the body from Kartsis who's being forced to punch off the back foot there, being backed up a little bit towards the end of the round there, the Ukrainian. He turned the screw from the midway point onwards there, the Uzbek fighter in this blue corner. even though Kartsis did, as I say, get the standing count. That's some good work from Kartsis though, some neat combinations. It's close. 
lovely left hand there. And that's what caused the standing count. Very well delivered punch. Just caught him as he was opening up a bit there to Sunov as well. Took it well. So this is a good fight. A real good fight. A close opening round. The closest opening round we've had so far. And these two straight back into it. Left hand there from Tursunov. Karts is just moving around him, looking for that jab. Left to the body there from Tursunov. Karts is with a nice little bit of head movement. Slipped the jab and then fired off his own. Just bearing up the power there, Karts Left to the body there from Tursunov. Was bang on the belt, I think. Then tried to go over the top with the right hand. Got to keep jabbing, Karcis. Lead left hand there. Start of the round, he was using that jab to just try and stop to soon off on the way. And right to the body there was a good shot from Karcis. Short right on the inside from Tosunov. It's interesting when they get up close into that kind of mid-range. That is more to Sunov's fight, but Karcis is pretty comfortable there as well. Right hand there from Tosunov. But when it's like that, it is the fighter in blue who is going to fancy it, going to favour it more. Straight left hand followed by right there from Tosunov. Karts is snapping out the one-two, but not that much snap in it. Tosunov, he knows, will, will walk in on him. Good one-two there from Tosunov. That was nice, just dipped off to his left-hand side, through the right hand, straight down the middle, just creating a slight angle for it. And he got through the guard, that's... That's high-level stuff. Karts is setting his feet and looking for that combination. He likes to lead off with the hook, but there's the one-two that just goes straight through the middle of the guard there from Tosunov. And again, throws the one-two, rolls off to his left-hand side, looks for a left to the body. It's terrific to watch this. Left to the body again there from Tosunov. As I said, the field in the Stranger this year. I'm not saying anything unusual here because it's always strong but it is really strong much stronger you would say than the than the lineup for the box guy a couple of weeks ago no disrespect to the fighters who competed there but there are some superstars here there's that straight right hand again lead left hand there from to soon off and he's landed some pretty heavy artillery in this second round cuts this Give him his credit, he's eaten it up. He's not shown any kind of reaction when he's been landed on. But there's been some clean punching here from Tosunov. Again there, just goes to the body and comes up top with the right hand. Gets those elbows to drop a little bit and goes for the head. Left hand, lead left hand there from Tosunov. Karts just sets his feet and swinging right to the end of the round. For me, that would be another blue corner round and Uzbekistan within touching distance of their third consecutive gold medal we've already seen golds for Dusmatov and Kolokov he's been made to work hard here very hard to soon off That's a good example of the difficult target he presents because he slips, he rolls, he drops those knees, comes in low, it's difficult to, to find, but then he's always adjusting that height. Lovely one too there, got perfect distance and biting point on that. But as I said, Kartsis just gobbles those up, they don't bother him at all, but they are scoring punches and they are easy to see for the judges around ringside. So into the third and final round, this is the men's lightweight division, 63 and a half kilos. Thirteen weight divisions for men, 12 for women, redrawn by Ivor before the World Championships last autumn. Right hand got through there, I think, from Kartsis. Who is pouring the, the punches out again to soon off? Just been forced to take a little bit of a backward step at the start of the third here. Nice 
nice jab off the ropes there and good upper body movement from Tursunov. Lead right hand and again. just telling to soon off to keep his head up the referees have been very inconspicuous in these opening three fights which is great because they've just been able to let the action flow <laughs> heading into the final minute and Karsis on work rate could be taking this final round so far but there's a good combination there from Tursunov who maybe towards the end here will just look to put his foot on the gas a bit and that's three four five good clean shots he's landed in the last 10 seconds soon off just leaning in there looking at the referee and fighters have to be careful in that situation because that could be an old trick your opponent leans in gets hold of you a little bit looks at the referee good combination there from Kartsis to soon off felt that one he just caught him there as he was coming forward and you could see him rock back onto his heels Kartsis gets on the front foot there and and just keeps letting those hands go he's had a good final round here this is his best round of the fight here Kartsis it's been courageous stuff all the way through and as a result this has been very very good to watch and he might have done enough to take that third round there the fighter in red it's his best round of the three which sometimes can lead you to be generous with the scoring and not think hard enough about whether it was actually enough to win the round it being his best round doesn't mean that it's enough to win the round that for me is a, a to soon off win and comfortably enough we will be waiting for the winner by unanimous decision in the blue corner so it's another goal for Uzbekistan and it is by unanimous decision and that I would say is the exact right scoring he's won all three rounds there Kartsis had his best round in that third and final round but not quite enough Spain giving him 1-10-8 there to Sunov but Kartsis just taking a bow in the middle of the ring and absolutely right that he should because he brought an awful lot to that fight it was a really good spectacle thanks in no small part to how keen he was to let his hands go and there was a standing count that he scored in that opening round and Tosunov did go on to win that round that seemed to sting him a bit and really bring him forward but it was cracking stuff to watch Tosunov was just a little bit too educated for him technically too proficient Kartsis just needs to try and tighten up a bit the the minerals are there he lets out one two go nicely but for somebody like Tosunov, it was just a little bit too easy to hit. And we're going to have some medal ceremonies now for the three finals that we've had. 